for a fun and rewarding date night at home or family dinner, try this easy basic pizza dough recipe. With that, whip up a mind-blowing cheesy bacon cheeseburger calzone. Yeah, you heard that right. Yes, you can buy pre-made pizza dough at the store, but instead of skipping ahead in the video, check it out to see how easy it can be to actually make your own at home. Mix some flour, salt, and highly active, fast-rising yeast in a bowl with a whisk. This pizza dough can be made very quickly at home and used for all sorts of things like pizza, calzones, breadsticks, pretzels, and snacks. You can even store it in the fridge or the freezer to use more of it later. Add hot water between 120 and 130 degrees and olive oil and stir to combine. Then whisk for two to three minutes. With a wooden spoon, stir in enough flour to form a heavy dough. The humidity and many other factors such as the ingredients you're using determine the exact amount of flour you need to make a perfect dough. It's always going to vary, even throughout the year. Transfer the dough ball to a well-floured work surface and keep your hands well-floured as well. Knead the dough for five minutes or more. Using your palm, push it away across the surface. Fold it back and give it a turn and repeat. Work and stretch the dough. If it sticks, use more flour. If the dough has been kneaded fully, it shouldn't easily tear when stretched. It should easily stretch into a nice thin sheet like this. If you plan to use the dough today, Drop it in a bowl coated with olive oil and turn to coat the top. Cover and let rise in a warm place for about 20 minutes or until it roughly doubles in size. If you plan to use it later, cut it in half or thirds and wrap and label and refrigerate or freeze. Always thaw and bring to room temperature your dough first before you use it. To make the cheeseburger calzone, cut the dough ball into halves or thirds Cook up to a pound of good ground beef and break into small pieces. And after a few minutes, add chopped onion to the pan to incorporate the flavors. Salt midway and cook until done. Your dough should be room temp. If using store-bought dough, leave it out but covered for a couple hours before using. Then stretch gently by pressing with the pads of your fingers to form an oval, round, or rectangular shape. Small pieces will make small calzones. Bigger pieces will make bigger calzones. I like to build calzones on a sheet of parchment paper. I'm stretching this quite thin, but you can leave it thicker if you wish. Load half the dough with a heavy layer of shredded cheese. Leave about an inch of dough around the edges. Follow it with cooked ground beef, leaving the grease in the pan if yours is greasy. By the way, I don't usually drain off the fat when I'm cooking ground beef, because when you drain off the fat, you're also draining off a lot of flavor. Full fat equals full flavor. And now for some crispy chopped bacon and chopped sweet pickles. This is not hot dog relish. These are actually chopped pickles. More cheese. Now for another dose of cheesy cheese. Carefully pull the dough to close up the calzone or use the parchment paper to support it if needed. Line up the edges and pinch and roll it to seal. The dough should hold together nicely. Roll the end to form a nice shape. Drizzle with olive oil and use a brush or your fingers to cover the entire outer surface of dough. Pick up the parchment paper and set it directly on the oven rack or slide onto a pizza stone. Bake at 420 degrees, 450 for thicker crusts and calzones. Bake for 15 to 25 minutes until golden. Don't over dry your crust by baking too long. Serve this beauty up whole or sliced. Oh yes with tomato sauce and mustard or ketchup and mustard for a home run flavor combo. Use any leftover dough in pizzas or calzones. The beef, onions, cheese, bacon, and pickles really shine with a classic burger flavor, but the mustard sends it beyond. Hopefully this inspires you to make your own pizza dough, pizzas, and calzones at home. Thank you for joining me. Tune in next time and I'll teach you how to make something else. Of course.